If you searched for how to make bone broth for dogs, you must have already heard how nutritious this tasty liquid is. Bone broth is good for both dogs and humans, but you should not feed your dogs any store-bought bone broth that's meant for human consumption. They may contain spices and ingredients that are harmful for your dog. So instead, let's make your puppies their own bone broth. Hey there, my name is Heather. I'm a certified vet tech and wildlife rehabber. I love all dogs and I'm always happy to share tips on how to improve their health and wellness. Please click the subscribe button now so you won't miss our future videos. Bone broth contains various nutrients and minerals that are beneficial for your dog. Bone broth is mostly made up of collagen, which is a protein that can help protect the joints, improve gut health, and support your dog's skin and coat. We get vitamins, omega-3s, and minerals from the bone marrow, and the connective tissue provides chondroitin and glucosamine. When collagen is cooked, it dissolves into gelatin, which is high in amino acids. To make bone broth for dogs, you can use any kind of bones, beef, pork, chicken, or whole carcasses, whatever happens to be on sale. Additionally, you'll need lemon juice or apple cider vinegar and any veggies that are safe for dogs, like carrots and celery. You could simmer the broth on the stove for at least 24 hours, but the easiest way is to use an instant pot or a slow cooker, whatever works best for you. If you're using an instant pot, chop the veggies into large chunks and put them in a roasting pan with the bones. Pour a few tablespoons of lemon juice or apple cider vinegar over the bones. This helps them release all the minerals. Roast the bones and veggies at 450 degrees for 45 minutes to an hour. Then add everything from the pan to your Instapot. Don't forget to pour in all the juices from the pan. Add water to the maximum fill line and set the timer to four hours or whatever the max time is on your device. When the broth is done, remove all the solid ingredients and strain the broth. Refrigerate for several hours and then scrape the fat off the top. If you're making bone broth in a slow cooker, simply add the bones and veggies in the slow cooker, cover them with water, and add apple cider vinegar or lemon juice. Cover it and cook on high for about an hour. Turn the slow cooker on low and let it cook for about 24 hours. Then strain the broth, refrigerate, and scrape the fat off the top. The bone broth will keep in the fridge for seven to 10 days. But here's an extra tip. If you're making a large amount, you can freeze it in ice cubes. Then just add one or two cubes in your dog's meal whenever you want to give them a special treat. Well, that was pretty easy, wasn't it? If you found this video helpful, please click the subscribe button and share this with your friends. You'll find all the social media sharing options below by clicking the share button. Please come back soon for our next video.